victory. Speaking of that, how are you going to make sure that mail-in ballots and voter fraud, which we heard from a lot of people in line, was an issue front and center? They're very concerned about mail-in voting. So forget the past. What are you going to do to make sure we don't have problems going forward? If you have mail-in voting, you automatically have fraud. If you have okay, well, there's mail-in voting in Florida, That's and right. you won you. That's not. If you have it, you're going to have fraud well, you want. because you don't have any. When you go into a voting place, like you go into one in a, in a properly run state, they look at you, they give you give voter ID, you give all sorts of identification. I mean, it would be very hard to cheat in a mass scale. When you send out millions like California, I think they sent out 36 million ballots. They don't have a voting booth in the whole place. And then millions of ballots yeah. come back. Nobody knows where they're coming from. Right, but what are you going to do about it? Uh, the way you win is by swamping them. The way you win is by swamping them. You got to have and we're going to swamp. I'll tell you what I've. I did great in the first election. I did much better in the second. We have I interesting news you. coming out of Donald Trump's concerns about mail in voting expressing doubts about its susceptibility to fraud and questioning the overall reliability and security of the system. These reservations align with a broader democratic sentiment favoring on-site voting, the inclusion of voter IDs for fraud prevention, and the advocacy for strict voting regulations to maintain electoral process integrity. The article highlights specific concerns surrounding mass mail and voting, citing California's distribution of millions of ballots as an example. It explores the intricate challenges and potential compromises in election precision stemming from uncertainties in voter sentiments, individual hesitations, and skepticism about mail and voting reliability. Trump's strategic characterization of the situation as swamping them suggests a call for mobilizing on-site voters to counter vulnerabilities in the mail-in system, emphasizing transparent and strategic political maneuvering.